Hey friends, all right, today I'm going to assemble this beautiful flower crown. So this one's a little tricky and I won't have a digital download for it. So sorry guys, I hope you can just use this as some inspiration as we go along because I don't have patterns for all these crazy leaves. So what I like to do is grab some grape vine wire and I'm actually gonna double down on this. So we're gonna make this fully adjustable flower crown. So don't feel like you have to make it perfect with measuring heads or anything. But what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna grab it and double this up. So this is about 18 inches doubled, so about 36 inches total. I'm gonna cut it and then make a loop on one end and then twist it around itself just to give it a little bit more rigidity and make it a little bit stronger. So I'm gonna go all the way down and then when I get to the other side, we're gonna just kind of make a little faux loop as well. And that's what the part where you're gonna like roll your ribbon on and then loop it in and then you can adjust the size to whatever you want. So I'm just gonna twist that around a bit and then try to just tuck that wire in so it doesn't snag on anything. This is the base of your crown. All right, let's start making our pieces. So this is why I'm not doing a digital download for this one. Most of these pieces are all die cut. So what I'm doing is I'm taking all of my thinlet dies here and I'm just cutting out all of these pieces. I love my magnetic board. So when you put those thinlet dies on there, it just sucks it up and then they don't move because they're literally attached to that mat. They're just magnetizing to it. It's so great and helpful. Check out my thinlet dies video if you need help doing this. But whenever working with thinlets, you just definitely want to sandwich them correctly and use as many shims as you need to get a good cut. I only cut one layer of felt at a time, but I've seen some people do two sometimes, but one always gets me a sure and a good cut here. So there it is. There are my tiny little pieces, which are so cute and adorable. So I've got these daisy pieces that I'm gonna do. I don't know what you call it. There are, none of these flowers really have names. All right, be sure to be careful when you're lifting these leaves out because they can definitely be fragile and tear really easy, which is exactly why hand cutting is kind of out of the picture for these guys. All right, so I've got a huge variety of leaves and the last little flower that I cut earlier. So we're gonna start with some wire. I'm doing about four inches on these wires, but you can adjust it to whatever you feel is needed and for your project. All right, so I'm gonna make tiny little tables for these, and then we're gonna go ahead and make some flowers. So we're gonna start with our daisy here, and I'm just gonna go ahead and poke it through with a tiny little table, put a little center. I'm using 10 millimeter felt balls that I've cut in half and just throwing it straight down into the center. Now I'm gonna cut the little petals a little bit deeper so we can give it some more dimension and transform this little flat daisy into something super cute and fun and adorable. So I'm gonna cut each little petal in, throw a little glue at the edge and just pinch the petal, kind of letting that glue squeeze out just a hair and attaching it and lifting it to that felt ball just to bring the petal up. We're gonna do this all the way around to each one of our petals. Take your time, it's very, very small and you definitely don't wanna make a mess with that glue. little daisy all right so for this one I made six each of all these flowers if I have extra that's fine but I'd rather have too many than two less so for this one we're just gonna make a little hook not a table and just fish it through the three layers of this daisy shape so I've got the small medium and large and we're just kind of kind of layer it, and it kind of just makes this little poof almost like this I don't want to say a weed, but just like a wild flower in your garden that's probably actually a weed. But who cares? It's cute. Kind of like maybe like a clover or something. Throwing some glue down and I'm just going to smush that little guy up. And then we're going to do the same thing by putting a little bit of glue below it, smush up, and same thing on the bottom. And just kind of makes this fun little floofy little we're gonna call it a clover. It's a clover, guys. It's a cute little clover. Isn't it cute? Not a weed, just a pretty clover. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and make six of those. Here they are. Aren't they adorable? All right, next things next, I'm gonna get my pinking shears with the very, very small scallops. These things are amazing. I love them. 
They are so helpful and amazing. So I'm going to cut a strip of felt here in my sandstone color and go ahead and create a fringe with it. This is so great and help to follow those little valleys that the scallop scissors make and it gives it a little curve on your finished product. All right, so this one I'm going to make a small little loop and hook it into my fringe and then pinch it shut. This just helps make sure that this never falls off of your wire because that's embarrassing and nobody wants flowers falling off wires. Okay, so now I'm gonna throw some glue on it and we're just gonna do kind of like a rolled mini rabbit's tail almost. I'm also angling it a little bit so that way it can go down. You don't wanna go straight around. We're gonna angle this down to make it a small little floof going down, like so. And at the very bottom, we're gonna throw a little glue in there and pinch it shut. Ta-da! Okay, for this one, I only made four because I already knew I only needed four. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna take those fragile little leaves and spray them with some hairspray. This is unscented hairspray, but it definitely works as a great stiffener so that they're not so flopsy and not gonna break nearly as easily as they would if you didn't stiffen them up. You can use fabric stiffener too. That totally works as well. Just be sure to stiffen them up because it's gonna go in your hair, it's gonna get handled, and they can easily get ripped off. So just be sure to stiffen all those guys up. So I cut out a bunch of different leaves for this one in just different colors and different sizes, just to give it a lot of variety. I just really, really wanted color and variety and all sorts of different shapes here. And as you can see, these ones are all super, super delicate and small and would be ridiculous to hand cut or machine cut on a silhouette or cameo. Probably be impossible. So <laughs> that's why those tiny little thinlets work so great. All right, also grab a strip of felt. We're gonna go ahead and use that at the end. I'll show you when. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and twist on our flowers. So the wire's a little bit long. Don't twist it all on there. You definitely wanna leave some wire hanging out and I'll show you how to finish it off perfectly. And the reason I do that is to make sure all the wires have zero ends to get caught in your hair. So do whatever pattern you want and I just go ahead and start twisting on, leaving a little bit of a tail on each flower. Okay, so this is basically what I'm going for and I probably have a few extra and that's totally fine. But here is the flower portion of the crown. All right, let's go ahead and see how we can finish this guy up. So I'm cutting off some ends and now we're gonna find these little tails on the wires and go ahead and glue leaves onto those tails. So now we have no exposed wires that's gonna get caught in hair or anything like that because that's just annoying, especially who knows who's gonna be wearing this and you definitely don't want any accidents. So I'm just like randomly taking leaves now and just placing them in and folding them down. If you do trim some wires, if they're a little too long, totally fine. But now I'm just going through and filling up all of those wires. Be sure to fold those wires in too, just cause you don't want any of those delicate leaves to just be like really flailing out long cause you definitely don't want them to break. I also will kind of grab some of the leaves that are not attached to the wire and kind of like tack them down to some flower parts just to make them a little bit more sturdy and stable. Some of them I'm not even using the wires at all. I'm just gluing kind of to the bottom to just kind of fill in holes. So just keep going and fill in as many holes as you can until you get the desired effect and it just looks exactly how you want it. This is probably my favorite part of making these flower crowns is when I finally finish all the leaves. It just really completes the piece and it just brings me so much joy to see it just coming together and looking super, super beautiful. All right, let's clean up and finish her. Isn't she so pretty? 
All right, so now we're gonna go take this strip. This is about three quarters of an inch wide. I'm gonna start in the middle here and I'm gonna just find the middle of my wire, put a little bit of glue down and then just cinch that down. And this is just gonna protect again, the wire and the hair from getting snagged or tangled on anything. So I'm just gonna start with one direction and glue slowly tacking it down just to help finish off your crown. Be sure to work slowly during this time just so you don't accidentally get glue in places you definitely don't wanna get glue in. And then just repeat on the other side and keep going. Oh my gosh, guys, we're so close. All right, now that our bottom is done, let's go ahead and finish our top. All right, we're gonna go ahead and grab some ribbon. And this can be any ribbon, really, and it doesn't really matter exactly how long you want it. It kind of depends on how long you want your tails. So we're gonna gently bend our crown. Oh, she's a crown now, isn't it great? Fish our ribbon through the two loops here and then tie a bow. So this is the part you can trim your ribbon if you don't want super long or if you want it super long, you can do whatever you want. Or put lots of ribbon, because that would be super fun too. Just tie a bow. And this is where it's super adjustable too. You can tighten and pull on your ribbon and it just tightens your crown up a little bit or you can make your bow loose and it's even bigger. That's what I love about these crowns is they can fit any head shape and last forever. Isn't she beauty? Thank you so much for watching and I hope you enjoyed and learned something today. Be sure to like and subscribe and hit that notification bell so you do not miss any future videos. Hit me up with what you would do with flower crown in the comments. Bye.